Okay, so now I have my rag in the way. Um, I've marked my spot where my flower's going. And then I have done the quotes, love, live, love, laugh, wishes, dreams, laughter, smiles, and then live, love, laugh. And then the flower, I kind of just intermingled. I might put some more in there, but I really want to use a stencil with the molding paste, which is an acrylic based product. And what you do, you open up your jar and you have your palette knife. And it kind of looks like frosting, I guess, something of that nature. Um, so I'm just kind of positioning my stencil where I think I might want it to go. I need a harder surface, so I'm going to move my board over. Not that it would go through, but just so I have some, something stable to work with. Alright, so then the trick is, is holding the stencil pretty firmly. And then what you're going to do is scrape onto the stencil and your fabric. So it's going to come through, and I don't necessarily like to have it really perfect. I like the, the details to um, the fabric and the color to pop up because this is going to remain white. So I'm just scraping and replacing. Okay. Here we go. Oh, that's beautiful. That's lovely. So then this one, I'm going to have the swirl. Um, let's see. Let's do this side up here. I'm going to do another one about right there. Try not to get into the last one that I did. Just kind of trickery. Holding the stencil and again you just gently rub it on. Some areas are going to be a little bit more difficult because of the, the way the bag is laying and again it doesn't need to be perfect. It just is what it is. Okay I'm going to finish this up and I'll be right back. Okay, here we're back and I just finished up and I put um, four of these little guys on the bag. This bag is for my mom-in-law, she just came to visit and I'm very excited to make her something to send to her to say thanks for coming. Um, so there's these three, obviously it shows up more on the red and then there's this fourth one down here. You definitely want to remove the modeling paste from your stencil because if it dries, it will be on there permanently. You can just go and rinse it off in the sink, but since I have my squirter, that is what I'm going to do. Any stencil will work. I really like the Crafters Workshop stencils. Um, so at this point, I'm going to allow the mo modeling paste. <laughs> silly me modeling paste to dry I might heat gun it a little bit and these clean up relatively well just takes a little elbow grease um, but the crafters workshop um, these stencils are very very nice this is vulgar design I really like what she does she makes some really funky designs um, what else? I am going to wait for this to dry, maybe heat gun it a little bit, clean up my workspace, and then I think we're to the point of embellishing. Um, I think I just smudged that, no big deal. And I will probably, I'm using obviously what came in, I want it all collection from Teresa Collins. 
I'm going to add some of these blingy blings. And I might add some prima flowers and buttons. I'm not exactly sure how all of this is going to work out. I'm just kind of winging it. So with that being said, um, I'm just going to wait for this. I think I want some drips on here and I can do that with some Indian ink. Um, so I guess I need to make some decisions and let this dry. Okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> 